Thank you, Joe. Well, a lot of people have big dreams about maybe writing their own book, starting a business, but you know, it can be very, very expensive and often those dreams get put on the shelf. But we have a local author who has come up with a plan to get his book published on his own. All he needs is your help. And he is here now to tell us about that. His name is Bob Deshonic. He is a published author and literary award winner. His latest book is called Hell's Treasure. And Bob, it is a pleasure to have you back. Hi, it's great to be here. This great is exciting. To see you. you know what? Thank you. Uh, mm -hmm. I've never heard of this way that you've come up with. Uh, it involves crowdsourcing and something called Kickstarter. So what? tell us about that. What do those mean? Well, crowdsourcing is a way to raise funds for a project um, and a lot of times it's a creative project mm -hmm. and the way you do it is you go you use one of these websites like kickstarter.com there are other websites as well indiegogo mm -hmm. is one uh, fundable there are a whole bunch of them and it's really taken off mm -hmm. there are hundreds of these websites every year millions of dollars are pledged mm -hmm. by people who like the ideas that they see and they want to yeah. fund them and help them become a reality. Okay, so if somebody great. wants to help you publish your book, all they have to do is donate and yeah. make it happen, right? Yeah, but okay. they won't be charged unless the project uh, earns its goal amount. Gotcha. So you set a goal amount at the beginning, which in my case is $29,000, uh -huh. and if you don't reach the goal amount, nobody gets charged. Oh. Well, then I guess so, that's good. Yeah. It helps you and it helps them if it doesn't mm -hmm. happen, but hopefully it will. Right. Uh, so, it, you know, it's, it does sound like a tall order, but people have been very successful uh, with this yeah. uh, numerous times. All over the world, people are doing what they really want to do with the help of others out there. Uh, before we get to more about that, mm -hmm. let's see uh, what your book is about. You had to post a video on the website, right. and we're going to show a little snippet about the storyline. Shaw Serling talks to buildings, and the buildings talk back. She meets a boy named Aaron who can do the same with works of art. Shaw's parents die right after having a big argument with her. She feels guilty and tries to kill herself. But Aaron saves her and tells her there's a way to break her family out of heaven. Shaw and Aaron set out to find special smart keys hidden in great works of architecture like the Brooklyn Bridge, Frank Lloyd Wright's Falling Water, even Antony Gaudí's Sagrada Familia Cathedral in Barcelona, Spain. But a host of deadly angels try to stop them. Shaw and Aaron barely survive by using their powers, and they fall in love along the way. Then, John Halcyon shows up, a mysterious genius from another world. He tells Shaw and Aaron the truth, that Earth is the dumping ground for heaven's rejects, which is why there's so much pain and suffering in the world. But Shaw is destined to end all that. If she can find the smart keys before the angels do, she can take back heaven and restore the people of Earth to the paradise that has always been their lost heritage. Wow, Bob, what an imagination. Thank you. <laughs> Sounds like an exciting book. Yeah, thank you. I, I worked hard on it, and, and the uh, script is all ready to go. I mm -hmm. completed it a, a while ago, and I'm just trying to raise the money now to pay the artist and the letterer to complete the project, and then to print the books and send them out. Mm -hmm. So isn't there uh, some incentive for people whenever they're uh, actually donating to you? They donate so much and maybe they get a prize or something? Absolutely. That's mm -hmm. the best part of crowdsourcing yeah. is that it makes it makes pledging and backing a project even more worthwhile than just helping a project to come to life mm -hmm. because there are all these different rewards at different levels of pledges mm -hmm. that people will receive. For example, you might get a signed special limited edition copy of the book or a t-shirt, mm -hmm. or a special commissioned illustration, one of a uh, kind, uh. or my favorite, at the $75 level, you get, an, you, you get your own image included in every copy of the book. You get oh incorporated into the story. It's a, a non-speaking cameo role. Mm -hmm. So it's pretty cool. I mean, we didn't have things like that when I was younger. Definitely I think it's not, just, yeah. it's a wonderful idea. Well, that so. is wonderful. If you want to help Bob, we have the information <clears throat> for you. You're running out of time, though. We have a couple more weeks until August 18th. You can sign up and donate and there's the uh, website right there we also have a link on our website which cool. is centralpatv.com bob please Boy, keep great. us posted thank you don let us and know how it's going thanks for having me on then I really... when it's out we'll debut it here oh that would be great <laughs> thank all you. right bob thanks again and coming up next on central pa live the mountain playhouse is a 200 year old building that once housed a grist mill we're going to take you on a tour and later on, we'll be jamming out when Derek Woods Band is here. They're going to preview the Flood City Music Festival. Stay tuned.